So I've re-poured just some white. I want it a bit more white. I'm really liking how this is looking. So now I'm going to kind of freestyle pour it. So I want to try and get this fixed here, add a bit more color. So there are a couple spots that I'm just going to pour. This is going to be my final pour. Some white just along the edges. Here, this is definitely a very messy project. And I have two more cups that I'm going to do my original pour on. Again, just to make sure those edges are really covered. It's pretty hard to see the cracks, but there are a lot, like there's a huge one here, here, um, here. And what I did is I mixed a paste. It's a combination of clear Elmer glue and glue all, and I put in some sparkles. I practiced with it on the weekend, seeing how it would hold up, so I'm going to try it on my table. I figured that since I have to do all these, fill in all these cracks, I might as well add some sparkles to make it look extra fun and kind of like it was on purpose. I found it easiest to take my palette knife and just kind of fill in the cracks just a bit and let gravity really pull the glue down. When I spread it, it made too much of a mess when I was trying to wipe it. It's too hard, especially since I added the glitter, you can kind of see it everywhere. So now I'm just doing that and I'm still gonna wipe the edges, but it's a lot cleaner this way. I wasn't planning on doing an epoxy clear coat. I was just gonna give a couple of coats of polyacrylic, but because of all the crazing and all the cracks and uneven texture I ended up with, I figured it was easier to do one smooth coat right on top, so that way we can have a nice surface to eat from and there's not a lot of ridges or anything. It was actually my first time doing an epoxy resin coat, so I was a bit scared because it was my first paint pour, but this turned out well. And even though it's not 100% perfect, this is a really good solution. And I'm excited to try it again.